We got a Gemini 3.0 Pro release checkpoint on LM Arena today. The codename for this model was Rift Runner, and it created this SVG image of a pelican. With all the hype surrounding Gemini 3.0, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video, a deep dive into everything we actually know about this model. So let's all jump on the hype train. Around four months ago, there was a GitHub post that showed a Gemini Beta 3.0 Pro and Flash model leaked. In this image, it said you reached the daily limit for Beta 3.0 Pro. And with this user's code, he was able to turn an SVG image into an animation. Okay, that was four months ago. On November 4th, so about a week ago, in the Google AI for Developers form, we had a representative from Google hop in and say that the model is currently in the dog fooding phase. The word dog fooding means the use of a newly developed product or service by a company staff to test it before it is made available to customers. So it has passed internal testing and now it's being used by other people at Google to do their day to day tasks. That means a release is imminent. I currently have a friend that works at Google but he told me he's still using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. So it hasn't been rolled out to all departments. If we look at Poly Market, which is the public betting market, a lot of the money is going on a release date before November 30th. More than half is betting before November 22nd, which some users say an announcement is scheduled for the 25th. I can't confirm that source. December is an anniversary for Gemini 1.0. I don't know if Google really works like that. Will they release it on an anniversary date? Like we said, it's available on LM Arena. Usually that means within the next few days. I remember when Nano Banana did that. It was like three days after. In a shared release document, they say some models will be depreciated on November 18th. And companies will usually depreciate old models when they release new ones. The only official announcement by Google, and this was during the Dreamforce 2025 conference, the CEO said late 2025. All right, how about actual features of this model? They're touting that Gemini 3.0 is jumping out of the chatbot phase, and it's now gonna to start to manage multi-step complex processes from start to finish with minimal human intervention. So it's gonna think for itself and it's gonna act for itself. For individuals, this could serve as a comprehensive life manager and can handle anything from complex travel itineraries to personal finance and scheduling. For businesses, that means automating entire workflows in sectors like customer service, data analysis, and logistics. In an AI News Hub article, they expect Gemini 3.0 Pro to use a mixture of experts transformer architecture. If you're curious what mixture of experts is, it's separating your task into models that are designed to do one thing, and that one thing very well. A perfect example would be something like in ChatGPT. If I were to upload an image and then write a text input, maybe a question about that image, a mixture of expert models would have one model that's really good at reading images, read the image. So that would be step one. And then it would hand off that task to step two, another expert that's really good at text. Instead of one model that does everything good, it would have a bunch of experts that does one specific task well. And then it would use each of those experts in a chain. In an AI certs news article, we learn that this model is gonna be fully multimodal and it's gonna unify data streams in ways no other model has before. For example, this new model could process a YouTube video. It can read its comments. It can summarize discussions and then generate related imagery all within one single flow. In a skywork.ai blog post, we learn that the new model is gonna have computer use capabilities because we've already seen this in the Gemini API. Obviously that means the model can control your computer, your UI and your browser. This is gonna help with automation workflows. Some rumored changes are major jumps in code generation benchmarks. So if you're vibe coding within Google AI Studio, you might be able to one shot entire websites or web apps. It's also being rumored a multi-million token context window. So no more hundreds of thousands of tokens. We're going to millions of tokens in context. 
and then an improvement on the deep think feature. From datastudios.org, internal testing within AI Studio and Vertex AI. Gemini 3.0 Pro reduces hallucination rates, it generates cleaner citations, and shows improved parallel reasoning when analyzing visual and textual data together. When tested on humanity's last exam, that benchmark revealed an impressive score of 32.4% for Gemini 3.0 Pro, which is now ahead of GPT-4 Omni, that score of 26.5, and GPT-4 of 23.9. So all of you users that loved GPT-4 Omni, I understand it now. It's still one of the highest leaders on that humanity's last exam benchmark. And then finally, from redhotcyber.com, we're learning that Gemini 3.0 Pro is going to be available in all of Google Workspace, which means automatic digest of email threads in Gmail, project briefings in Google Docs. In Vertex AI, we're going to be able to analyze text and images for data analysis. In Google Cloud Search, we're going to have enhanced Gemini embeddings. And then on Android, it's going to be able to suggest actions based on content on the screen. Hype for Gemini 3.0 Pro is at an all-time high, and hopefully we get it released any day now. What are you most excited about for this model? I want you to write that in the comments below. If you haven't tried Gemini yet, I have found myself using it a lot more than ChatGPT lately, especially the 2.5 Pro model. I'm liking its answers a tiny bit better. It's been more clear, more instructive, and it's been more right. And if you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your company, come check out youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I'm building live on this channel. We're creating the best AI agents for every business task. Anything from Instagram agents, Twitter agents, LinkedIn posters, auto bloggers, chatbots, Reddit marketing, social listening tools, Two of the newest agents we have is a Telegram bot and replying to comments on Instagram automatically. I'm going to leave a link to a full video playlist in the description below. So if this interests you, if you want to save time and money in your business, please come check us out. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.